Welcome to our channel www.news.co.id Hello guys, meet with me again in new CNC channel. Okay, in the last tutorial, I have show you how we can change skin from Microsoft Visual Basic using uh, OS skin. And now, I also show you how we can customize the skin form using Visual Styler. But what the difference is uh, the questions. If you are OS skin, you just only uh, using them that packed by OS skin. But if you are if you using Visual Styler, you can uh, using unlimited themes because uh, you can import manually if you are uh, have a customized skin visual style okay and now uh, how uh, we can customize the skin form okay uh, first i will create new project for uh, shaving time now uh, the project i will give name custom skin form vb.net using visual styler okay now uh, i will click okay guys uh, after creating the project or farm you can see if I running this project the form is loaded by default is very very uh, standard system so uh, if we board with our standard uh, form we can change using visual styler if you are also uh, board with OS skin skin package this is the solution okay now uh, after we creating the form you must download visual styler on the visual styler.net or you can uh, search it by google you can buy the visual styler or you can just uh, install the trial okay first i will uh, show you you can install like this for example because uh, i have already installed in my machine now i will cancel because i have uh, installed on my computer or desktop after you are installing and finish okay you can uh, bring back to microsoft visual do you on your visual basic project and go to toolbox you can see uh, in the previous video i have show you about adding os skin now uh, i want to also show uh, how we can add visual styler after you are installing visual styler application of course visual styler is for uh, .NET application okay uh, we are waiting for uh, loading now uh, after you are installing if you search or filter by type visual styler you will find uh, the name of visual styler here now uh, check the checkbox like like this and then click ok appling change now uh, you can drop on your project for example already dead this is the visual styler and this is in the previous video i i also show you about os skin but uh, the big difference is os skin is load uh, the default package by os skin but if visual styler you can customize with whatever you want and unlimited theme of course or unlimited uh, skin now uh, you can uh, selected uh, the visual style you can see guys i will show you this is my custom skin i have uh, already installed many many skin in here you can see i have uh, many many skin okay 
you can see if I selected my Omega visual styler by Omega you can see my form is very very beautiful you can download uh, the skin on the internet the many many uh, project you can found in the Deviant art site or Deviant art wipe and whatever you want you can see my uh, skin is very very beautiful you can see this is I have collection I will show you uh, about uh, a few of my collection custom skin and after that I will also uh, show you how uh, adding the custom skin in the visual styler okay okay uh, after you are installing visual styler like uh, just now I show you you will uh, found the shortcut in your start menu or your desktop if you, if so you can see here guys if you install visual styler you will found file is visual styler net demo and skin editor okay now uh, if i click visual styler dot net demo you can see if my skin is here okay this is my custom skin you can see very very beautiful rather the default skin if you are bored with uh, your default skin form or form skin I mean like, this is the default package by uh, visual styler but this is my custom skin okay now uh, how we add adding uh, the custom skin like this you can see remember this we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten uh, custom skin I will adding uh, more skin into my visual styler show I can apply on the my visual styler project or my uh, project in visual basic.net of course now uh, this is I have theme or skin first theme is Kiki kill key I mean you can uh, found on the internet or you can search in the Deviant art site and I also have nooks for Windows 10 theme or skin you can see guys and I will try a uh, adding this uh, theme or skin into my project of course for uh, visual uh, basic now uh, go to skin editor okay on the skin editor we will uh, import the dot mms styles file I will show you guys this is a uh, I will bruise my skin is in here visual styler you can see in in the desktop folder that I just already show you this is my theme now I will adding kill key for seven and go to this is a uh, ms dot ms styles file i will adding kiki m dot mms styles then i will click open themes dot in art phone ah i think this is uh, something problem with that kill key i will trying with nooks theme the q key is uh not compatible okay now i will try uh, for nooks guys i will try for nooks i'm sorry uh, because this is i first try for kill kit team never trying before this tutorial nooks 
I'm sorry, I mean is import skin. Trying with Kiki Slim first. Okay, not fun. Then I will try for Nooks. Kiki is violet, guys, because I never try for Kiki team. You must uh, search the team is that's compatible with uh, full of uh, file. Okay, I will try with Neo.ms styles. I will try him. Temps dot any not found. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I think it turns out uh, my skin page is not complete. Then uh, I will show or I'm gonna show you with my skin that uh, complete. I'm download and then adding the alien core one. This is the complete. I'm sorry about Kyuki and Nooks. This is not work show. I will show with Alien Core One skin. Okay. Now, uh, like just you know, I show you. Go to your skin soft or skin editor in Visual Styler. Now import your your skin. Okay. I repeat the process again. For you not confused, guys. Okay. like this import skin okay import skin and then brush your skin i go to desktop in my visual styler and theme you can see in there is alien core dot ms styles i click ok guys you can see here and I click OK. That's all. Okay. Now you must, uh, you can edit or anything you want. If a label, system color, you can see, guys, this is, uh, you can edit. Uh, by uh, custom your skin and uh, this is my collection alien core one where is the alien core one oh nothing because I'm, I'm not safe this is I think okay now uh, I will shift my theme and then uh, after saving i will back in my uh, visual studio then choose alien core i think this is guys okay yes i will show again to certaining if this is uh, the theme i'm sorry about uh, my skin is not work just now and I'm gonna again to share training if that I import okay alien core yes you can see guys okay we try to uh, see into caption I think yes okay same guys so uh, this is work i'm sorry uh, i i don't provide a uh, full thing because uh, i just download and give you tutorial i i i have not test uh, for the skin before so this is uh, the works after you import save then uh, your skin will show in your uh, visual styler like this for example okay just download in Deviant art on other side that give you 
uh, completely files I'm sorry if the file is not complete because uh, I just download and trying to give you tutorial now uh, we can try to adding the button uh, try to using group box and combo box to see if there is a different with the default okay okay guys this is very very uh, different with the default and I think it's enough for this tutorial how we can custom skin using visual styler by OS skin of course if using this you just download the skin pack that completely you can download free in the internet but if you want to the premium you can also doing like that okay I'm trying to uh, nothing nothing coding I'm trying to uh, see the the interface yes I'm sorry we before I close this video okay this is very very beautiful and I think that's all uh, how we can custom skin using visual styler for our visual basic project if any question of asking about skin or theme that I uh, have test and work of course you can uh, comment and asking thanks for watching and bye bye